hello and good morning good afternoon good evening to all youtube friends all around the world according to your time zone it's me arjun today in this tutorial i am gonna show you how to create automatic table of content for your document if you are creating a large document with the number of title and subtitles setting of an automatic table of content will be really helpful if you are adding or removing content or editing the document the automatic table of content will make it a lot easier for you to update as well as track the document but if you are not aware of this feature you may end up typing each section and their page number to create table of content manually which is very hectic and with increased chances of error too so let's start with this lesson i have a blank document open here very basic setup let's change the size to twill font as time new roman color as automatic okay as a dummy text we will have introduction to computer as a heading one okay as a dummy content we will have a introduction to computer parts of computer and computer network as a heading one which is the main topic of this uh, dummy document and Inside the parts of computer, we will have this keyboard, mouse, monitor, speaker and printer. And inside the computer network, we will have second heading to as types of networking. And inside the types of networking, again, we will have LAN, local area network, metropolitan area network and wide area network as heading three. Okay, let me start from the beginning. First one is introduction to computer in microsoft word to insert the dummy content it's very easy you can type equal rand and bracket restart and number of paragraph then bracket close enter you will get the dummy paragraph there that's the introduction to computer and the another is as i mentioned before parts of computer and again here dummy content let's say 25 and inside the parts of computer we will have keyboard add a keyboard and for the keyboard let's say 23 and the another is mouse let's say 22 and another is monitor let's say 21 oh sorry equal r a n d bracket start 20 mm, monitor then another is speaker dummy content again let's say 18 and another printer again dummy record let's say 26 and another is we have computer networking we will have little content for these two let's say 30 and inside computer networking we will have types of networking again dummy content let's say 10 and we will have types lan little content there man metropolitan area network let's say 20 and the final one that is one wide area network let's say 33 all good this is this all all together we have 20 pages document here this is the dummy text so don't rely on the information here all the content in this document at this moment are in normal text format to create automatic table of content first you need to format this section into headings so now to change from normal text to heading this is the heading one as i mentioned before just select that and from the home you can see this section here just click on the heading one option if you can't see that just click on this drop down and you can see easily their heading one don't worry about the font size color alignment and other things because we will format all those things later on in this tutorial and let's scroll down we have parts of computer that is also heading one just click on the heading one here and inside the heading one we have this keyboard that is heading two keyboard mouse here monitor speaker printer
and computer network this is again heading one and inside the heading one we have uh, types of networking as heading two and inside the types of networking we have heading three so if you can't find it just click somewhere here heading three LAN MAN when you create the heading 3 heading 4 is also there now if you have more headings you can add accordingly another is WAN that is also heading 3 as soon as when you select heading it will change the normal text to their predefined format now almost all of them we have applied the heading accordingly okay with this final one all our section are now formatted here you may find that section title is not looking distinct from normal text you can simply change the format to bold or large font or different color by editing the header section so either select the heading or just click anywhere on the heading then right click on that heading option this heading little heading icon because we, this one is the heading one we are going to edit the heading so then modify now in this dialog box this dialog box you can define the heading name change the color let's say the font is time new romans all good and the font size to 18 let's say bold and the text align to center font color to let's say this color okay as soon as you click the ok button you can see change it's automatically applied to all header heading one title like this introduction to computer and if you scroll down parts of computer that is also heading one you can see the uh, other heading style yeah computer networking all changed you can apply to second heading as well but to apply this apply this style format to the heading 2 you should be in the word or select the heading and then after right click modify let's say this one 13 to 14 and let's say bold and color let's say I think black is okay but you can play around according to your requirement okay now again keyboard mouse let's let's apply the underline as well this one here okay now you can see easily the whole heading to is all heading to are underlined and we have to change the heading three as well this the one here heading three right click on it modify again then let's say to will and the font size font style let's say to time new roman again to will all good okay when should be man at the top somewhere there yeah this one here let's change the color right click modify let's say this one here okay if you do in this way this will automatically apply to all header you don't have to go each individual heading to update this formatting similarly you can format other heading if you have more than three four five whatever now we can insert automatic table of content for this document for this we have to go to the let's start from here we have to insert at the top so place your cursor somewhere there this should be the normal text let's say okay now we can insert automatic table of content for this document for this you have to go to reference tab here we will find a table of content you can see if you click on this drop down different layout for table of content 
let me select this classic one but you are free to choose any of these beautiful here we have our table of content which is in introduction to computer in page one now i have moved down the content to separate this table of content for rest i am sure here the page number for the heading have changed let's check because i move this introduction to computer to page number two on the table of content see here introduction to computer has moved to page two but in our table of contents mm, it's still in page one going through all other section and checking individually is hideous but you need not worry about it to adjust this table of content what we can do is here just from the reference tab here is the update table just click on update table and if you just want to update page number only select that radio button or if you want to update entire table like if you have uh, added extra information extra content there you can select it, update entire table okay now the table of content is updated mm, let's say here in the parts of computers mm, i'm going to add another another heading here as a cnnr scanner and let's apply this scanner to heading home and this is the heading to so just click on the heading to it's same like keyboard the format for the heading to is like keyboard but in the table of content the scanner is not added at so again have to move to reference update table update entire table okay beautiful scanner that heading is also added here if you have adjusted only the page or content without adding or moving any of the heading then you can simply choose update page number only but if you have changed heading then select the update entire table beautiful now we have the perfect table of content here okay beautiful if you want to edit table of content yourself you can play with this as well like change the font size change the alignment according to your requirement and moreover you can navigate directly from this heading to the corresponding content if you just click on this any of the heading here it will navigate you to the corresponding content so like computer networking it moves there just hover there and click easy process hope this tutorial will be helpful for you if you have any question or a suggestion do comment on the comment box below and give little poke on subscribe bell and like button thank you bye bye